morning. So I thought I'd give you an update on all the old boys. Um, Meep's doing okay. We haven't had him back to the vet yet, so we haven't had an accurate weight. But because he's been walking more, the little sore on this foot especially, he's getting quite purple and raised. The other one's doing not too bad. Okay, well, you can see that one's okay. But this pressure sore he's got on this foot is getting quite painful. Um, so at the moment when I put him down to play, he really just wants to just sit on my slipper. So he's going to be on some antibiotics to help that. And then hopefully he can get back to his exercise regime. Because he was doing really well having a good run around. Aren't you? So I'll plop him on the floor just now. And I'll get Cade out. Still snuffling away. I hope you can hear it's not as bad as it was. So he's still on all the antibiotics that he was on, mixture. And this is the new stuff. By Solvin. Now this little packet is full of granules and I'm sure the vet said Cade's dose is one twelve thousandth of this packet so he literally gets a couple of grains so it's very easy to get him to take it at least. Even though you're still awkward some days he doesn't have to have that squirt in his mouth. Do you like the antibiotics? But he seems more lively. The bisolvin um, breaks up the uh, catar, the mucus helps him shift that from his lungs. So he is sounding a lot better and he is brighter. So I'll let him get a little run around as well. His HLD is progressing. His back legs are very weak now. You can tell by the way he holds them. You'll see they sort of curl in and under like that. His whole leg sort of tilts inwards. Um, and he's gone very flat here. Each side of his hip is up, it looks very flat, and that's where he's losing the muscle muscle mass. But he's still soldiering on. And let's get Castor. And we have Castor. So he was the healthiest of the bunch, but I noticed he's been losing some weight. And I thought that was because he's been really active. But then I noticed when I put the, filled the food each day that he wasn't really bothering with the nuggets. He was sort of chomping on them, but not actually eating them. So checked his teeth, his teeth are absolutely fine. They're perfectly aligned. Um, so we decided to take him to the vet. And the vet says that it's very likely that he's got a pituitary tumour. Um, one of the things with a pituitary tumour is a difficulty, a weak, weakness in their legs and their, um, their chewing is difficult. They find it difficult to chew and swallow. So his front legs have been getting weaker and he's not holding the food when he's eating. Aye, boy, I know, I know you don't like being handled very much. And he just isn't himself. Um, but we switched, switched him with our wet food. A uh, nice soft wet food from Rat Rations. It's a mixture that comes dry and you mix it up with water, warm water. And he likes that, don't you? He likes that. And I hand feed him that a few times a day, actually, to make sure that he's getting food. And he seems happy enough, he's happy enough to run around. And uh, he cuddles up with Cade. Cade's his buddy, sleeping buddy. But it is really sad, he's only been here a few months and he's worked his way into our hearts. My little squirrel boy. So uh, I hope it's a slow one rather than a fast one. Hey boy. 
so I'm going to give him his little run around. And uh, then go on to the other boys. So that's the update. Um, some better and obviously some worse. And you can see he's still interested in wandering and getting around. So we'll just have to watch how things go. Mm. 